All right, Novak Djokovic, world's number one tennis player, has been kicked out of the Australian Open and Australia, the country itself. Pretty crazy story going on here with uh, world number one tennis player. I'm going to break down everything going on with this story as well as give you my two cents on the whole situation. But if you could first like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our daily videos. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps the channel out a lot. All right, let's get into it. So Novak Djokovic, the Joker, world number one tennis player, got himself into a bit of a controversy this week. Australian Open is starting this week in Australia, obviously. Um, but Australia requires COVID vaccinations to participate, to come into the country. Um, yeah, you need you need a vaccine to get into the country of Australia, basically. Um, medical exemptions are very rare, very few and far between in Australia. They've been very, very strict for those of you that don't know. And uh, Joker said, no, nah, I'm not getting vaccinated. Just flat out, I'm not getting vaccinated. But it came out earlier this week that he'd gotten a medical exemption. He was going to be allowed to play in the tournament. They were granting him the medical exemption. He was good to go. But uh, officials really kicked back at him. They were not too happy. Uh, Australian government officials were not happy with him. His o open stance against being vaccinated. Said he wasn't going to play in any tournament to force him to get vaccinated. So they really pushed back on this. It started with a mix-up yesterday. He was caught up in the airport when he apparently applied for the wrong visa that did not grant medical exemptions to persons coming into the country. Now, after that whole situation got fixed out, government officials said, nope, we're declining your medical exemption. You're not coming into Australia. You can't play. So essentially, they kicked out the world's number one tennis player over a political spat or a vaccine spat. They didn't think his medical exemption was good enough. They didn't think it qualified him to get into the country. They thought it was just a bullshit example of skirting the rules. So the government had the final say on all visas and they said, nope. And without a visa, can't get into the country, can't get into the country, can't really play in the Australian Open. Pretty crazy if you ask me. The whole situation is ridiculous. Um, kind of a big kickback. I mean, the Joker has won nine Australian Opens. He is the defending champion. Um, they made it, but they've made it clear. Um, Sportsman Victoria says they're not going to support his visa application. They've made it clear in Australia, you're not coming in without a vaccine. And even if you do come in with a vaccine, there's going to be strict, strict restrictions on all those coming from outside the country. Um, they're on an island. They're trying to keep it like that. But defending Australian Open champion, world's number one tennis player, most, uh, and his nine titles, most all time in men's singles at the Australian Open. So really, really crazy. I don't know what this is going to do for him the rest of the year and what the further impacts are for men's tennis. I know men's tennis is, you know, hasn't got the panache or splash as much other sports, but this is a big deal. This is, I mean, he's the number one player. He's the most dominant player there is. Nadal Federer, their time is gone. It's all about the Joker. So maybe new young guys are going to be able to step in, fill the spot. But interesting to see, this is the first major of the year for tennis. So... Kind of starting things off on a bad foot for uh, Joker. Hopefully he'll be able to get, I think the French Open is next. I know he'll be fine getting into the United States. We're pretty lax on exemptions and sh uh, shit like that. So it'll be okay with getting into the U.S. Open. Wimbledon, I don't know what UK's uh, stances are. I think they're a little less lax. I think you just got to quarantine for 14 days or 10 days or whatever it is. Who knows when what it'll be when the point that rolls around. French Open, I know the French are very strict. The EU has a very strict... Um, protocol moving forward so could we see an entire year without the world's best tennis player really really interesting stuff i just thought it'd be you know a good story to break into um today really really unique story that you don't really see an entire country kicking out a top player let alone the best men's tennis player in the world so really something to think about here tell me what you guys thoughts on the whole thing should they have allowed him to get a medical exemption should they say hey vaccines mandated kick his ass out like they did tough tits um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments again if you like this video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and i'll uh, see y'all tomorrow